Our next guest this morning's work in a variety of different worlds without leaving Denver. 10,000 Villages in Cherry Creek offers a shopping experience that brings in the work from artisans from all over the globe. This morning, Rebecca Yont and uh, Yasof Chaman takes us to a beautiful fair trade oriental rug event. I know I messed up your first name. How do you say your first name? It's Yusuf Chaman. Yusuf Chaman. Nice. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I apologize about that. Hey, congratulations. You just Thanks. received a wonderful award. We did. We were named Nonprofit of the Year by the Cherry Creek Chamber. We're over the moon excited about it. Slap my palm. High five for that <laughs> all around. Yeah. Today we're focusing on artisans from Pakistan and the beautiful rugs. Last year it was a, a record-breaking year, right? It was right? record-breaking. We almost did $100,000 in rug sales, which is phenomenal, and we're hoping to exceed that this year. So what's your goal this year? Better than last year. Better than last year. <laughs> That's a good goal. You don't put a number on it. You just say better than last yeah. year. And in Pakistan, this is interesting, over 50% of the women are artisans. How many families in the villages do you work with? Yeah, so we're working with about 850 families in about 100 villages in and around Lahore, Pakistan. And as you said, uh, about 50% of the artisans we're working with are women. Yusuf, tell me how these rugs are made. They are so detailed and beautiful. They're all done in a loom like this. Obviously, this is just a sample, but they're all done by hand. Gorgeous. So, for example, a rug like this is hand spun wool, nature dyes. You collect and hand gather dyes, and you spun the wool by hand. So, you spend months just preparing the, the product, and then you make the rug on the loom like this. So, it takes about a year for 9 by 12 to get, uh, get completed. Um, to give you a rough idea, if you start using onion shells, in a whole year, you would save only uh, enough shells for the two pounds of wool. And you needed, oh, say, 260 right. pounds of wool for a 9 by 12 rug. My goodness. Yeah. It takes over a year and the hard work that these women do just to survive and to feed their families. How does the How is it dyed? Tell me what goes into the dye. Uh, the dyes could be walnut shell, uh, onion shells to uh, pomegranate shell. And so though about 50% or more rugs are uh, natural dyes. So people collect these dyes throughout the year mm -hmm. and uh, have those ingredient ready. But the best part is it's all ingredients that otherwise you'll sh uh, throw away because these are just uh, shells that you right. enjoy your fruit. and you That's know, wonderful. You, so people get to collect that. But also what that does is cares for the environment because people need that. And to so support not only family, it's the entire environment. And uh, one of the best things is because people get to stay in their own villages. Mm -hmm. That also means they're farmers, they, they take care of the surroundings. So nobody have, have to leave their home. And it's an equal opportunity for women that uh, they can earn and support the needs of their family. So are these rugs then made in their home in Pakistan? They're all done by families in their homes. The whole idea is this is a job creation program with the intent that families can live and continue to be in their homes. This is a centuries old tradition among families. And rug making, if fair wage, is a good income to support education for their children. It supports uh, three meals a day. It gives them a healthy living uh, surrounding. That means when there's an earthquake, you don't have to worry about that your house is going to collapse. Right. And we've, we've had that same situation in Pakistan happen in 2006. And it was amazing that all families who have earned the income were able to build a houses that are strong enough to withstand the earthquake. What a blessing. And I'm so glad that you're here today to describe what they're all going through and how hard they're working and how special these rugs are too. You have an amazing event coming up. We do. Give me the details. Yep. How can we so buy these beauties? Today through Saturday, we'll be at Augustana Lutheran Church and we have varying hours, so check out the website. Um, but we're happy to be hosting our fifth annual rug event. So go to the website for more information. That's right. And we got to beat last year's goal. We got to beat 100,000. Okay, 100,000. <laughs> wow, 10,000 Villages Oriental Rug Event is May 13th through the 16th at Augustana, Augustana? Lutheran? Augustana, yeah. Augustana Lutheran Church. If you'd like to learn more, visit 10,000villages.com slash Denver. Again, 10,000villages.com slash Denver.